Hey yo everyone, here we go with another round of brand new low priced Nintendo eShop deals. Now keep in mind the big summer sale ends in just a couple of days and we've covered a wide range of different games over the past week or so. I'll have links to all of those videos down below in the pinned comment. On top of that we have an under $5 video on the way as well and in that one I'll have the giveaway winners to announce for our last giveaway. Speaking of which I have a few extra game codes to give away and I'll announce those soon so subscribe if you're new and hit that bell so you don't miss out. As always welcome back to the crew much love let's go ahead and dive in stay safe and please enjoy the video. Alright we'll start today with Watcher Chronicles which is a 2D souls like action RPG. It has a download of around 1.4 gigs and offers roughly 15 hours of main story gameplay. Now the game is incredibly challenging and you'll likely end up dying quite a bit as you learn the patterns for each boss, but it's always worth the reward in the end. I love that they kept grinding to a minimum and it controls great with one feature that I took advantage of a lot which was the slowdown which happens when you time a dodge perfectly. It gives you a chance to get the jump on the next attack which I always enjoyed. On top of that it has a gorgeous art style and offers two player local co-op as well and right now you can pick it up for just $9.99, mark down half price and the deal ends on the 25th. Up next we have Inscription which is one of the best indie games in the genre. At its core it's a deck building adventure or strategy roguelike but it offers the player so much more than you might expect at first glance. Basically you have a 1v1 match with a mysterious figure. And as you work your way through the roughly 15 hour story, you'll travel through several different worlds that he's created for you while facing off in the main card game. Now this is where the roguelike elements come in because at each stop you'll begin a new round in which you're dealt a few cards and then you just need to deal a certain amount of damage to win and move on. It's truly a unique game and one I think any fan of deck builder should check out. Right now you can pick it up for just $12.99 marked down 35%. You'll need a little over 4 gigs and the deal ends on the 25th. Next we have Dust and Neon which is a single player twin stick roguelike with a download around 650 megabytes and this one is truly a fun game that offers maybe 15 to 20 hours of gameplay. Of course there's a ton of replay value as well and while the game can be kind of challenging it never feels unfair or cheap. The controls feel great and the weapon variety ensures that you always have something nice to use against the hordes of enemies. It's kind of crazy how many weapons and items they put into the game. In fact I think there's something like 1500 of each for us to find and use. On top of that the game has a unique animation style as well which really drew me in and overall I really enjoyed the game. Right now you can pick it up for just $13.99, mark down 30% to a brand new low and the deal ends on the 25th. Islets is a charming 2D metroidvania with a download around 540 megabytes and it offers players roughly 7 to 8 hours of gameplay. It features a gorgeous art style with expressive characters and tight controls. The soundtrack does a great job of adding to the atmosphere with different biomes having their own unique themes and the story has players reconnecting the five different segments of the main island that were shattered at the start. It's actually pretty cool because that means that you'll be connecting parts of the map together to progress through the story. The combat and platforming are fun and never too tough, neither were the bosses for that matter and it would probably be a good starter metroidvania for those looking to jump into the genre. Right now you can pick it up for just $13.99, mark down 30% and the deal ends on the 25th. Next we have Potion Permit which is a single player top down adventure style game in a similar vein to something like Stardew Valley with a few differences to help set itself apart. It has a download around 1.6 gigs and should give more than 20 hours of gameplay on average. Now in this one we play as a chemist on a task to help a small town off in the woods. We have to open a clinic to create medicines and of course you have to go out and gather materials, learn different recipes and even unlock and craft different potions while taking care of the patients and building relationships with the people around the town. One thing I want to mention are the mini games that you get when crafting and helping patients. They were pretty cool and overall it's a pretty fun game. Right now you can pick it up at a new low of just $14.99, mark down 25% and the deal ends on the 25th. Up next we have Shantae and the Seven Sirens which is a single player 2D action platformer with a download around 2 gigs and it offers roughly 10-15 to 15 hours of gameplay with gorgeous graphics, tight controls and fun combat. Now this time she's back with her fifth outing in an all new tropical setting and she's on a mission to rescue the five missing half genies. It plays out a lot like a standard metroidvania with progression locked behind certain items or abilities and the game started out as an Apple Arcade exclusive before making its way over to consoles. 
Now luckily the port was done well and it's a full fledged game you're not losing out on anything by having come from Apple Arcade first. And overall it's another game I really enjoyed and highly recommend. You can pick it up for just $14.99 marked down to half price bringing it to a brand new low and the deal ends on the 25th. Hawk is a single player 2D metroidvania that puts a heavy focus on exploration. It has a download around 850 megabytes and the main story should take roughly 8 hours or so to wrap up. Now this is one of those games that has a slow start but rewards the player for sticking with it until you get into the game a little bit with a few better movement and combat abilities. It's loaded with secrets and collectibles, unlockable upgrades and it features a pretty good variety of locations to keep things interesting. The boss battles for me were a highlight with normal enemies feeling a bit boring at times and if you find the game is a bit too tough, they do have special coins that you get when you die at a boss battle that will kind of alter the game or make it a little easier. Of course it's optional but it does add an easy mode of sorts for those that find themselves getting stuck or at a roadblock. If you're interested in Hawk, make sure to check it out before the sale ends. Right now it's just $15.12, marked down 20% and the deal ends on the 25th. Opus Echo of Starsong The Full Bloom Edition is a gorgeous narrative driven 2D adventure game with a download around 2.3 gigs and should take roughly 10 to 15 hours to wrap up. This is a series that's known for its audio design and quality and Echo of Starsong delivers once again with a beautiful soundtrack and the Full Bloom Edition added in voice acting as well for all of the dialogue. Now this is one of those games that plays out like a visual novel with light puzzle solving and exploration thrown in and thus the story is the main focus which again is another area that the developers nailed with Starsong as well. For fans of the genre it's a must play and right now it's marked down 30% to a brand new low of just $17.49 and once again the deal ends on the 25th. Up next we have Return to Monkey Island which is a single player point and click adventure game from Devolver Digital. It has a download just under 6 gigs and the story should last again about 10 to 15 hours. Now this game is a follow up to the second mainline title in the series and that game ended on a cliffhanger. Now they do recap it but you may find yourself a bit lost if you never played that one. It features an all new art style and of course the top tier comedic writing returns as well and seeing familiar places with a new art style is always pretty cool. If you're a fan of the genre, it's another must play and right now it's on sale for just $17.49, marked down 30% to a new low and the deal ends again on the 25th. Persona 5 Strikers is a single player action RPG that offers more than 40 hours of gameplay on average with dozens more for those that like to explore and go for that full completion. Now of course the change in playstyle to a more action oriented game had people a bit mixed before the release but they delivered an incredible RPG experience with a gorgeous art style, gameplay that's a ton of fun and with combat being the main highlight for sure, they nailed it. It's a complex game but once you get everything down and get into a rhythm you'll be tearing down foes with all kinds of attacks and magical spells. The only real weakness for me were the 2D platforming sections, they can be a bit janky but overall it's one of the better RPGs you can play here on our console. And right now it's just $17.99 on sale with a 70% discount until the 25th bringing it down to a brand new low making it a great value this weekend. Up next we have Rogue Legacy 2 which is a single player 2D roguelike action platformer where we play as a series of heroes on a quest to free the kingdom from evil forces that have taken over. Now I say it's a series of heroes because these games have a unique feature in that each death results in you having to start over as a new character. In this case you're playing as a child of the previous hero you had just been playing as and each time this happens the characters you get are all random with different strengths and weaknesses altering how the run will play out and this keeps things feeling fresh and really does make the game stand out in the genre. Now these games are incredibly tough with some boss battles being complete roadblocks for many players but if you keep at it eventually you will get there. It has a download around 1.2 gigs and right now it's on sale at a brand new low of just 1874 Mark down 25% and the deal ends on the 25th. If you never played this one or the first one for that matter, definitely give them a look before the sale ends. They're really, really good games. Hey yo everyone, we have our more deal section coming up as always, but before we jump into that, I want to take a quick 30 second, one minute look at a brand new puzzler, Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine.
All right, everyone, here are a few other deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. All right, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and let me know down below if you plan to pick anything up this weekend. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.